Hey everyone, this is Eric Thor and this is 10 reasons why intuitives are stupid. And okay, ENFPs, INFJs, INTJs, ENTPs, dominant intuitives, hear me out. I know we like to think of ourselves as super intelligent masterminds who can think of any solution. We are creative, we are intelligent, we are bright, we are fast learners, we love new things, we are fast paced, we understand and decode information quickly. However, there are times when intuition doesn't always cooperate with us and this video will show you demon sensing, inferior sensing at its worst. Okay, so reason one why intuitives are stupid forgetting where you park your car. And okay, I know anyone can forget where they park their car. However, have you ever forgot which parking lot you parked your car at? That level of stupidity was uh, reached by me today. Reason number two why intuitives are stupid. Not reading the instructions first. And okay, I sometimes get pre-made food sent home and uh, that's great. It's super easy and super convenient. I really love it. However, I don't always read the recipes and sometimes I just start cooking without even knowing what I'm cooking. So today I got the, this really nice uh, uh, group of dishes and vegetables, gnocchi, uh, and I got the zucchini and all these great things. So now I just put them together and I made a nice soup. And then I read the instructions and I read, it was not, it was not supposed to be a soup. It was supposed to be a curry. Reason number three, why intuitives are stupid. Trying to read while biking. And okay, anyone who hears this should know this is a terrible idea. It's not possible to read and bike at the same time. However, my 10 year old self would not get that simple fact of life. At that age, I was so obsessed with books, I could not even take my eyes off the pages that I was reading. I wanted to read every single minute of my waking life, and that caused a few problems. And then I thought, hey, why not try reading while biking? And of course, I did not make it far. One meter after, I biked straight into a headlight, crashed, and yeah, <laughs> after that I uh, taught twice before I read and biked again. Reason number four, why intuitives are stupid. So t this week I broke my own stupidity meter once more by turning off my Google Analytics and not realizing it. So uh, I sure would check in on my Google Analytics every day to see, okay, is my website doing fine? What is my latest viewership numbers? What pages are doing well? What articles do people want or like to read? And I like to check this in. However, in the last few weeks, I noticed, okay, my traffic has dropped by 80%. So I had 80% less visitors every day than normal, and I had no idea why. And I thought about it, and I tried all these things, and I just thought, okay, is it not good enough? Was the new design not good? What was wrong? And uh, then I realized, oh, I had deactivated the Google Analytics plugin. Reason number five, how do you? So I'm the kind of person who knows all the spells of Harry Potter, but if my tire would ever break, I'd have no clue how to fix it. I'm the type of person that has uh, figured out uh, all the hidden theories and inner workings of uh, uh, Brandon Sanderson's Stormlike archives and who browses theories and understands their magic systems. But uh, what do I know really about anything practical? Reason number six why intuitives are stupid. Saying good afternoon in the morning. There's been so many times when uh, customers called in to my customer service and I would pick up and I would say, hey, good afternoon, uh, good morning. And uh, from there on on, the call went uh, in a very good direction. And at least the customers were super happy. Uh, they asked me if I had overslept. And uh, yeah, perhaps that was the reason, I don't know. Reason number seven why intuitives are stupid. Intuitives fear birds. And okay, this is not true for all intuitives, but I will be honest, I have quite a few fears that are sensory in their nature. 
birds coming out of nowhere, people suddenly jumping, people uh, noises in the back. Uh, yesterday when I was walking I heard something falling and immediately I thought something is falling on me. <laughs> and th that kind of jumpiness, that kind of uh, panic when a bird flaps their wings or when something happens, that cannot be the sign of an intelligent mind. I mean, what would happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? Reason number eight why intuitives are stupid. Not doing your homework. So there have been so many times when I thought, okay, I don't need to study. I'll just figure it out at the test. Oh, usually there's some kind of logic behind these answers that I can figure out. Some kind of pattern I can use, something I can do to get an A anyways. But you can't study for everything. There is not always a pattern that's going to save you. You're not going to be able to intuit yourself out of every single situation. There are going to be times when you crash and burn because you were not properly prepared. Reason number nine why intuitives are stupid. Using the wrong words. I, honestly, it's gotten to the point where I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And half the words I use are not correct for the situation or for what happened. I cannot describe time accurately. I cannot des describe last week using normal words. There are so many weird things jumping into my head that mix with whatever it was I was supposed to say that what ends up coming out is complete alphabet soup. And uh, some people might enjoy alphabet soup. Uh, honestly, I think it confuses more people than it helps. Reason number 10 why intuitives are stupid. Forgetting stuff. I don't know how many times I've forgotten car keys, bike keys, how many times I've forgotten my computer when going to work, how many times where I've lost something, where I um, yeah, just dropped it, just didn't think about it, just left without even closing the door. Honestly, it's gotten put to the point where I just carry my backpack around everywhere and where I pack everything in my backpack because otherwise I'll lose it. Otherwise I'll forget it. I cannot take it out of the backpack. It has to stay in the backpack where I know where it is and where I won't forget it. However, sometimes I also forget. Honestly, I need help. Demon Sensory has me in its grips. It is tearing at me. It's causing me to walk into walls. It's causing me to lose stuff. It's causing me to forget stuff. It has gotten to the point where I need help. I need a personal secretary to keep track of everything I do. I need somebody to keep my keys for me. I need somebody to note down my calendar for me. I need somebody to remind me of what to do, what minute. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Siri, please. Tell me when I need to do stuff and remind me to make reminders because I forget to make reminders too. Let's start a club, Intuitives Anonymous, because I have so much intuitive shame I need to get off my chest. So many forgotten dates, so many lost things. It's time to make amends. It's time to hire a censor. It's time I got my life back in order. However, two seconds after making this video, I probably forget, I even said. Honestly, how am I still alive? This fact is beyond me. Stay tuned if there will be a video or not. Perhaps the next time, I'll forget to press record.